I want to walk you home I want to walk you home Where you look so good to me Um, it's called tall buildings. They discover you later, years later, after they've eaten the salads, the roast beef, driven their mazes past the 100,000 mark and already have grandchildren. But then you were into something rich too, something about sentences, making paintings, which might knock them on their ass. You watch how the great filmmakers did it on the screen, how actors high on a wall move through their roles, giving you something memorable to talk about years over coffee and cigarettes. Then you go back to your apartment and try to do something with the typewriter, which would be years before anybody would ever read. Then after completing something, you, you turn on the tube to Roseanne or 30-something and see how they did it, but feel somehow neglected because you were doing years all alone. But then sometime during the night while you sat up in the kitchen with a cup of coffee, you would look around the room. The radio would be playing in the bedroom. You weren't listening. You were looking at the walls, at the paintings you made, which could be as tall as buildings. In the morning, you got dressed and walked outside alone and had a sense of something else while the morning air grabbed you around the lips and you knew you were alone but tall. Somehow as tall as James Dean was on the screen in Giant. You were as tall walking in that cold morning air. You were as tall, as tall as tall buildings. I go driving around sometimes. It's kind of nice to look around. Look at the, the trees are so interesting, I think, sometimes, you know. And uh, I really don't have a place in this world. I'm just sort of uh, uh, trying to be good friends with my mother. I'm very dependent on my mother. The Mercedes Benz with my mother, the tall tree, a blooming bash, a burst of spring. Mother? a shallow river, a deep river, a deep valley, a lady with or orange hair, a fire on the mountain. Isn't that gorgeous? She's a fire on the mountain. <laughs> but don't ruin her. She fired me. He was so adorable the way he, I could remember waking up and the sun streaming through my room. I was the only one that had a boy. This was during World War II and everybody had girls. Everybody wanted a boy. I was the only one that had a boy. And then when they were showing us how to do, <laughs> wash babies and diapers and stuff, they had a baby. It was He was the little demonstrator, the model. I said, that's my son! That's my son! It wasn't. It was someone else's. Yeah. And that's how it was growing up in the Simons family. They always thought that you, they were your sons, but you were already somebody else's son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, 
Cracker Jack. This came with a Cracker Jack box. Cracker Jack toys are very hard to find. See. Well. Ma, I'll see you later. My baby tells me she don't love me no more. My baby tells me she's going to leave me at the door. I said, no, baby, 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 don't you do that to me. So I've got to pray, dear Lord. Dear Lord, help me see, see right in the blue and then the shoe. And I say, Why didn't she leave me? Why didn't she say goodbye? Why didn't she leave me? Why didn't she make me cry? I don't know that answer. I guess I never will. But she's a part of me, and she's a part of me still. Baby, you're a part of me still. 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 My baby, my baby, my only baby, my only baby. You're a part of me. So uh, this is the hangout of the people at Common Grounds. <laughs> We're all just trying to find ways of dealing with our time here. We're finding ways of dealing with our time. Jim is a uh, is a folk singer. Steve is a composer, a composer, musician. Darius is an artist. How are you doing? All right, man. Thanks for having me. warrior. Well, I'm thinking about you, man. Think about you and Darius, you guys. You can have a good life, you know, you can have a good life, man. You, you know, you have a good life, you know. Right, right, right. There are a lot of beautiful things in life to be, you know. There really are. There really are. There are a lot of good things. Like this guy over here doing the carpentry. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, huh? oh, no. It's the law. Steve uh -oh, is it's the law. The law has arrived. <coughs> hi. The law. Hi, it's the law. Hello. How are you doing? This is uh, How are you doing? It's my good friend Barry. It's my good friend Paul. Hey, Paul. Paul's a, 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 a trumpet player. Oh, yeah? Paul's a trumpet player. Steve, you have a person back? He owns this place. Oh, that bird's calling. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on now, you know what I'm I feel a little better now. Good, good I'm deal. almost back to 100%. Good. But I'm more like at 70. That's cool. <laughs> you start school yet? Oh, no, not till February 1st. Oh, good. Okay. So, uh, we're, we're a little group, a little unit here, trying to figure out what the jurisdiction of the, the first class of American citizens is all about, you know? <laughs> yeah. He's a little bit touchy. He's a little sexy, yeah. to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> probably from all the animal blood drinking. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All those satanic rituals yeah. can get to anybody. <laughs> yeah. We were just yeah. talking about your Yeah, we were just talking about all that animal blood you drink. He's all okay. He's all okay. Hey, Paul, can I get some eggs? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll be back. Okay, he'll be back. <laughs> hey, don't have me over. <laughs> they don't say that to me. <laughs> when did you first start to paint? Uh, I didn't start painting until I was, I mean, really seriously painting until uh, 1975, when I was about 30, uh, 32 years old. It seems like Common Ground is becoming quite the artist hangout. 
Yeah. It's good. Well, you need support. To be an artist, it takes so much support. You need so much affirmation because it's so tough. You need so much affirmation. You have to get into the, it's so nourishing to get into that psychological or that intellectual climate of talking about things that you really enjoy talking about. Not the bullshit, not the little kid stuff, but the real things that really make you feel good inside, that you can really, uh, that you can really partake in the conversation, mm -hmm. that you can, you have a place in it. Not just because somebody's playing this with you or playing that with you, but because you have something serious to say that shows a better side of yourself, you know. How would you break down analytical versus creative in your uh, in your method of painting? The uh, rational or the uh, the rational and the uh, subjective they fly at the same time. But you're painting with the with the with the fire that's inside of you, the emotion and the passion that's inside of you. So you have to the the analytical kind of guides the fire. You know, the, you 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 got the fire going and you got to control it with the analytical, with the, uh, as you say, analytical, with the direction, you have to put it in a direction. You have to have a structure for it or a direction for it. So don't you just throw the paint on there. You know, you get so much input in people when you deal with people. You get such an input of so many different minds and thoughts and everything, you know, it's like, it's really, it's really incredible, you know, you you try to go through, you wonder what you just talked about, how much energy it just cost you and everything, <laughs> right. you know, and uh, you, know, you try to say, well, was it worth it? Well, it was worth it, you know, somewhere down the line, it'll be worth it, you get to know people, they get to know you. So the more you put out, the more you put out in your, in your mind, from your mind, the more you get back. You know, it's, uh, but you wonder, you know, when you hear, you know, you have the, uh, you have the, all these inputs, all these things, you wonder what, what a teacher must go through, oh. or what, you know, really incredible, or what anybody dealing with people really go through, you know, every day dealing with so many personalities and everything. And, and I want to walk you home The clouds are in the sky Don't ask me why Doing a lot more with the oil on paper. So oh. this, this is Orthodox Jewish period. He's working backwards. Comfortable <laughs> <laughs> with the blank, uh, the blank the faces. faces. Yeah. I like the, yeah, I like this little, just the the insert. Yeah, of this. right, Maybe right. What, but it would take said, away. It would yeah. take away from the. Uh, I might take away from the words. Yeah. Uh, but there's sort of the, the ghost of the face yeah, uh -huh. underneath here. Yeah, maybe just a little, yeah. maybe just, you know, with a, a little, little more, yeah. highlight. But, but um, you know, I look at Barry's work and then think, suddenly something pops out to me. I'm just getting this. I, um, yeah. You know, it's, it starts out as shape and then you look and yeah. no, it's a, it's a right. person. Doesn't do it for you? No, really. I think I would rather crop this here and just have the three. Uh huh. That is too much yellow. Uh huh. And this is. That's too weak on the edge. That yeah. one is too weak on the edge. Um, Over here, it's yeah, too weak. Yeah. Uh, it needs that one, too. Yeah. Let's go to some place and have coffee and cake. Let me buy it. Coffee and birthday cake.
to one of these go, let's just go across the street to, you know, to Starbucks or go over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. Let's well, just do that. Turns you I'm, I'm turned on, baby. I'm glad. I'm, see, I'm, I'm happy that uh, at least see we got. See, I'm, I'm learning how to paint. I mean, I, I was always I wanted to be an artist from an early time, and I didn't know what it meant to be an artist. You know, when you when you say when I was 19, I wanted to be a writer. I think, well, I'm going to be a great writer one day. She don't know what kind of work involves is involved yeah. in that, you know? And um, just the fact now that at 55, I'm still working, still doing the art, and getting paid for it. And um, I think it's pretty good, you know? I mean, I want, you know, I want to you know, big superstardom. I want to be a rock and roll singer. I want to be a lot of things, you know. That I don't, that uh, I was, you know, that you want at 20 years old. Yeah. 25, 26 years old. But, uh, now if I can, no, I, I'm, I should be very, I mean, I'm very satisfied with, uh, with the way I, my life is. Compared to where I was, you know, say 20 years ago on the street, in the street, in the street, you know. Mm -hmm. I said to my son when he was 16 that um, that I thought I I felt that like we had had accomplished everything we needed to accomplish, and it was okay that that I could um, that the kids would be fine if we were to die or disappear. Michael's response was, yeah, but he'd, he'd need the car, so he'd be able to do all right, but he'd need a car sometime, and I said, if we were dead, you can have the car. <laughs> <laughs> so. Happy birthday oh, from all of us to you. We wish it was a birthday so we can party do. Happy birthday. Make a wish. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Yay! Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. When we wake up tomorrow, don't bring me any sorrow. I want to walk you home. I want to walk. I listen to the brown violin and the chestnut piano and think about the people. I think about the brown people, the black people, sometimes about the white people as I read the newspapers and sit in the yellow bus and stand on the gray corner. I love to listen to the mahogany violin and the chestnut cello. I'd rather not read the white newspapers with the dull black lines. I'd rather not sit in the gray bus station. I'd rather listen to the mahogany violin with the little chirps like birds rather than the big gray newspaper with rude gray lines.